Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time um, since I've had a minute to sit down and film for you. It's been a, it's been crazy in the um, Daniel household in the past, I don't know, a couple of months, I guess I really haven't filmed um, since before Christmas. So my husband um, had back surgery and my daughter had knee surgery, so I've been busy helping them recover and getting back to normal. Uh, I started school back um, again. I've been in school for a while uh, to finish my business degree, but we started classes again in January, so just a lot going on. But with everyone being quarantined and everything going on with the coronavirus, we're kind of stuck at home, I guess. Um, we could we could go out if you wanted to, but we've just kind of taken the um, precautionary route and we are just kind of chilling at home. So I thought it would be the perfect time for me to sit down and build something. Um, and I'm going to try to get at least one or two videos posted a week moving forward now that, you know, my husband's on the road to recovery and my daughter rec recovered very, very quickly. So um, my kids are out there, they have some they have a friend over and my dog's in here so if you hear crazy background noises sorry <laughs> it's just part of being a mom and you know everything going on right now so today we are going to do another empties video and these are empties that I have accumulated since before Christmas so um, I would say four or five months and it's a big bag of trash uh, some of these are decluttered items um, but for the most part, it's things I've used up and I've really enjoyed using. So let's just go ahead and get started. First thing that I see in this bag, and this is not gonna be in any kind of order, it's going to be lotion, skincare, makeup, anything that I felt would be interesting to see that I've used up and could kind of give my a little bit of a review on. So the first thing I see in here, and there's going to be quite a few of these in here, is the, um, Nail Eva Micellar Cleansing and Makeup Removing Wipes. I get these off Amazon. I get them like uh, six in a package for like 14 bucks. They work really well, they do the job. Um, I use these for swatches. I use them sometimes to take off my makeup when I'm too lazy to you know, use anything else. Um, I always wash my face afterward, but sometimes I use these, sometimes I don't. Um, so you're gonna see quite a few the quite a few of these in here. So I'll just hold them up and say see another one so um, Recommend these I get, actually get these even cheaper because I do the subscribe and save on Amazon. So um, I Just get them delivered every couple of months and my kids use them. I use them. So um, That's the first empties in there uh, The next thing is this is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in this shade 05 Fair. Really like this um, product. It's amazing to set your under eyes. It's amazing to set your entire face with. Uh, really enjoyed this. Really recommend it if you're looking for a cheaper setting powder. Um, you can bake with it. You can use it to clear up underneath your, or I'm sorry, to clean up underneath your contour. So definitely recommend this if you have not given it a try yet. Okay, and the next item we have in here is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Honey Blonde. It's actually what I have in my eyebrows today. Um, I already have two of these. I bought, uh, ColourPop had a big sale not long ago. I don't know if it was around Christmas or what, but um, I bought three of these and this is the first one that I have gone through. Love it. Probably my favorite uh, brow pencil. I think the Honey Blonde works really well with my red hair so definitely would recommend this would repurchase have two backups so love this okay like I said two more uh, the next thing I have in here is the morphe continuous setting mist this is I don't know if this was special packaging or what um, it reminds me of the other one you know in the normal packaging but really like this I really um, enjoyed using this um, just every day I love the mist I don't know if you can still yeah if you can kind of see it's a very fine mist <laughs> love this definitely recommend that okay the next thing I have in here is the elf matte setting powder um 
I really enjoyed this too. I don't think you get a lot in the package. Let's see, it's, it doesn't even say how much comes in here, but um, I went through this fairly quickly. Maybelline Fit Me, you get 0.7 ounces, 20 grams, and this lasts me months. This lasted me maybe six weeks, maybe. I liked it, and for the price, it's Elf, so it's only gonna be a couple of bucks, but um, of the two, I would recommend this one, but this is really good. Uh, next, we have a Milani blush. So recently, I've kind of gone through my collection and decluttered. I know everyone's going through this whole big declutter and minimalistic um, notion, and I'm kind of doing that, not really, because uh, I just like makeup. And, and you know, my mom said to me around Christmas, she's like, Brittany, why do you need more makeup? And I'm like, it makes me happy. So you can see my puppy dog. <laughs> um, I'm like, it makes me happy. It it brings me joy. Even I do have, these are two Alex nine drawers that are stacked on top of each other full of makeup. But it just, it's something that brings me joy. So yes, I have a lot of makeup more than the average person. But like I said, I, I almost kind of consider myself a makeup collector. I know I'm not going to use it all. I know some of it's expired, but I hold on to it because it does bring me joy. So with that being said, I am trying to go through, I did a little bit of a declutter and I have three sisters and a mom, three daughters. So there's plenty of people in my life that I can share makeup with. If I find a product that I don't love, one of my daughters has um, pretty dry skin. So if I get something in a subscription box or something that I know I'm not going to use, I go ahead and pass it to her because she will like it. So you know to each their own if you're more of a of a minimalist and you only keep what you need good for you that's great but I think it's also okay that some of us kind of hoard makeup and have more than we should um with that being said this is the Milani um powder blush in the shade romantic rose now this is shade romantic rose I like this blush it it wasn't a bad product but it's old and it has a really weird, it smells like, it just smells old. I, I can't explain it. I have heard other people on YouTube talk about how um, products have smelled and they're like, oh, this is expired, it doesn't smell good. I'm like, what? You can actually tell this isn't good. So I'm only getting rid of this because of the smell. I like the shade, it's a really good shade. I would repurchase it if I didn't have so many other blushes already in my collection, but if I was to ever go out and need a blush, I would recommend it. It's just that I already have so many that I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, the next thing we have in here is the Tarte Double Duty um, Stay Spray. It's a setting spray. I really liked this. Um, I would definitely repurchase it. Um, I actually think I have a backup that I got in a boxy charm, but um, but liked it. It's you know just the Morphe. I'm not sure what this retails for, but the Morphe one is just as good, and I'm sure it's much cheaper, so it didn't wow me or anything. But it was good. Okay, the next thing we have is the Essence Prime Plus Studio HD Hydra Priming Spray with Coconut Water. It says it's moisturizing and energizing. Um, I liked this okay. I didn't love it. The mist was aggressive. It, it kind of oversaturated my face. So I wouldn't buy this again. It, it's essence. So it wasn't but a couple of dollars as well. But um, I wouldn't buy it because there are other setting sprays that I do like. Or I'm sorry, priming sprays that I do like more than this one. Okay, next we have the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Light Peach. And it is, I don't know if you can see, but there's hardly anything left in here. I liked this. I would repurchase it. Um, I actually am trying the new one, the hydrating one. Um, but again, for Elf, for the price, you can't really beat it. If you need a full coverage concealer that's good, give it a try. It's, it's good. Okay, I have just an Ipsy box in here. Okay, next I have a Walmart bag. Oh, look! One, two, told you there's gonna be a few of those in here. That What is that, six? Um, okay, next we have the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Harder Firm Volumizing Hairspray. I liked this. Um, I don't use hairspray a ton. Actually, today my hair, I just kind of, 
I used the Brio Geo deep conditioning mask in it, so I just kind of let it air dry. So this is what my hair does when I let it air dry. But I liked this. Um, it did what I needed it to do. Um, I would repurchase it. I would get it again. Um, so yeah, it's a good hairspray. Next we have, this is a body wash. It is the St. Ives Revitalizing As Acai <laughs> Blueberry and Chia Seed Body Wash. Um, this was fine. I'm sure it was on sale at Publix or something when we went grocery shopping. It says it's paraben free and dermatologist tested. It's a body wash. I didn't see anything extravagant with it or anything horrible. Um, but it was good, I liked it. Um, I would repurchase it, I would use it again. Um, I liked the scent, I do remember that I liked the way it smelled. Two of these, these are the Batiste dry shampoo. I have um, Clean and Classic Original and Fruit and Cheeky Cherry. The Fruit and Cheeky Cherry is one of my favorites. Um, I also get these subscribe and save on Amazon. Uh, I don't really think I have found them anywhere cheaper than on Amazon. So um, love these. It's my favorite dry shampoo. I've used Paul Mitchell. I've used Dry Bar. Uh, I've used a few other ones, but this is definitely my favorite dry shampoo. Okay, next we have a lotion. This is the Hemp's Original herbal body moisturizer hydrate and nourish this is the original scent I got out as much as I could I was scraping this and beating it on my hand and my husband's like babe just get rid of it it's empty uh, this lasted me a while this is one of those things for me that um, it takes me back to when I was in high school I one of my mom's best friends growing up was a nail tech and she used this lotion in her when she did our nails so um, it's just it's just a nostalgic smell for me it just brings me back to another time in my life so I would always repurchase this I love this line I love the way this lotion feels but it also is um, it just makes me smile and brings back good memories so I will always repurchase this uh, next we have a shampoo this is the Selsum Blue Medicated Maximum Strength Dandruff Shampoo um, I get this I have to use this about once or twice a week or my scalp gets really itchy. So I have found, I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried tea tree, tea tree oil, I've tried head and shoulders, uh, a couple of other things. I've tried the, tea, the Paul Mitchell tea tree line, but this definitely uh, seems to do the trick and takes away that itchy scalp. So would definitely purchase this as well. Uh, next we have a conditioner. This is by Matrix Biolage and it is the Keratin Dose Pro Keratin Plus Silk Conditioner for Overprocessed Hair. I like this. Um, I actually have another one in my shower. Um, I definitely think if you have dry hair that it is a, a good conditioner. It is no sulfates, parabens, and harsh salts. Um, I don't have necessarily dry hair. I try not to color my hair too often. I definitely don't put bleach in my hair, but I do have a thyroid condition and that does tend to lead to dr brittle, dry, thinning hair. So I do use this. Um, I try to use a lot of deep conditioning um, and I do also heat style my hair a couple of times a week. So I like this, would definitely repurchase it. Okay, next we have this I got in a BoxyCharm and it is the Pretty, the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Waterfall Glow Cream. This was a facial moisturizer. I'm actually going to leave this right here on my makeup desk because I want to purchase another one of these. Um, it's not something that I would have ever purchased on my own, but I really liked this. I really liked it for my oily skin. I didn't have any breakouts. I didn't see anything, you know, too crazy with this. And I have been having, especially on my cheeks, I don't think you can kind of see it today, but um, I have been having some weird breakouts and texture on my skin. And um, I'm using a different lotion, trying to kind of figure out what's going on. But um, I really did like this and I wasn't having any of those problems when I was using this. So I'm actually gonna leave this right here to repurchase. All right, next we have a ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. Um, this kind of dried out. I, I have a really bad problem of opening a bunch of mascaras and kind of flipping back through them. And 
I needed to learn to use one and kind of use it up so they don't dry out. But I did like this. It kind of flaked on me a little bit, but I think, like I said, I think I let it get old, older than I should have. Um, I would repurchase this, especially for the price. Um, it was a good mascara. Okay, next another color pop. This is actually from their sister brand. This is the Fourth Ray AM to PM Gel Cleanser. Um, I did like this. I used it at night. Um, let me see. Did I use this at night? No, I used this in the morning. So I kept this one in my shower at night. I tried to use something with benzoyl peroxide in it to help kind of combat some of that acne. But I really like this. I would definitely repurchase it. Again, you just can't beat ColourPop's prices or Fourth Ray Beauty's prices. So um, it was a good cleanser and I really do feel like it helped um, clean my face, you know. Um, so would definitely repurchase. Uh, next we have the Kylie Jenner setting spray. Um, this was okay. Um, I don't, it doesn't have the claims on the bottle. I don't know if this was mattifying or what, but again, the, the spritzer on this was just too, it was just too much. It's, I guess I'm used to more of a fine mister. The, um, Morphe mister was really good. And even the um, ColourPop, their new, I, I'm sure I have it right here, the, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist, um, I even like this mister, you know, it's nice and fine, and I just found when I used this, it was kind of aggressive, so I wouldn't repurchase it because I don't like the mister. Alright, next we have a Coconut Curls Frizz Defying Moisture Mousse. Drench your curls. This creamy mousse blend with coconut oil, sweet honey, and a twist of citrus oil helps to enhance natural softness, boost decadent spiral curls, and tame frizz for the beautiful tumbling waves with bounce and shine. Um, I liked this. I would definitely repurchase it. Okay, next we have the ColourPop All Star Face Setting Spray. Um, I liked this. Um, I think this is a mattifying spray. This is my second one. I have a backup in my drawer already. So it's a good spray. Definitely recommend. Next we have, this is in my cart at Ulta. I have not repurchased it yet because I have some foundations that I'm trying to work through before I buy more. Um, but I definitely, definitely loved this for the price. I think if you go back and watch my e.l.f. video, you can see how much I fell in love with this foundation. It is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation Oily Free Medium Coverage. I don't tend to like medium coverage foundations. I tend to go for something a little bit thicker. No, I really just love this. I love the way it wore. It just, this foundation really stole my heart. I'm using the Believe Beauty Foundation right now. I like this so much more and they're around the same price. Um, I think this has more coverage than the Bleed Beauty Foundation. So if you are looking for an affordable foundation, give this one a try. I loved this foundation. And it's funny because I tend to stay, I used to tend to stay away from e.l.f. products because I'm like, eh, they're cheap and they don't really do, they've really stepped up their game in the last couple of years because I have a lot of e.l.f. in here and Every time I'm at a store where Elf is sold, I'm like, oh, let me look, let me see what they have because I just found myself loving their products. Another Elf product that we have is the Elf. There's a little bit in here. I wonder if I can get it out. Um, it is the Elf Blotting Mist with cooling clay. This is really mattifying. If you don't like that, you know, that dry feeling that some setting sprays give you, um, you won't like this, but I have very oily skin. You can even see right here where I'm oily. And I really liked this. I have purchased a backup already. Um, and I'm actually gonna leave this on my desk to try to use that little bit that's in there because I like this so much. Another product is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Spray. I use this as a primer water, loved it. Uh, this was actually my second one. I have some primer water that I'm trying to use up right now. Um, will definitely repurchase this when I've kind of gone through some of what's in my collection because I really liked this. Next up we have the Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. This is probably my fourth one of these. I get them 
when Ulta does the 21 days of beauty, I always buy two because they're usually half off. So it's like getting two for the price of one. Um, I love this stuff to take off my lash glue when I wear false lashes. It just, if you wear a heavy, on a heavy makeup day, this is the best stuff to take off a lot of makeup. I just really, really, really recommend this product. All right, we are almost done-ish. Um, okay, the next thing we have in here is a, a mask. It is from L'Oreal. It is the Pure Clay Mask, and I believe this was the, it says on the box, It was. it's the green one. And I actually think this one dried, no, nope, I used it all up. I think this was the mattifying one. These clay masks from L'Oreal are really good. Again, you can catch them on sale at Ulta where they're buy one, get one 40% off or, you know, whatever the deal is. Uh, there's an orange one that is for um, exfoliating, I think. There's a couple of them and I really, really enjoy these. I've heard, of, I have heard some people compare them to the Glow, not Glow Recipe, the Glow, Glow Glam, Glam Glow, Glam Glow ones. And people, um, that's actually how I found them because I wanted to try a Glam Glow mask and I was like, oh, I can't justify spending that on a mask. And then I found these and definitely when I'm seeing issues in my skin, I pull one of these out. Really like these. Um, okay, next we have oh, another of the Batiste shampoos in the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. Um, here we have the Cover Except the we have the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. I really liked this as well. I wouldn't repurchase it just because there are other mattifying setting sprays um, that I can find that are much cheaper, like the e.l.f. one. Um, just because of the price tag on this, I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was a good spray. Okay, we have the Wet n Wild Cucumber Photo Focus setting, or three in one, that is in another language. I am trying to read, I think, the Spanish side, and I can't read Spanish. Let's try that again. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water Prime Set Refresh. I like these. Again, for the price, you can't beat them. Um, would definitely repurchase this when I have used up some of the other ones in my collection, like I already said. I'm a hand talker, can you tell? Okay. Um, we have the... Um, Catrice Energizing Prime and Care Spray. This again is a priming spray. I love this product. I love this product so much and Ulta does not carry it anymore. I don't even know that Catrice is making this anymore. I will have to go on their website. I would go on their website and purchase Catrice products just to get this spray because I liked this priming. It is probably my top primer spray. I loved it. I like this more than the Smashbox one. So I'm actually, I actually forgot about it. Um, I know I looked on the Ulta website to repurchase it and it's not there anymore. So I think I'm going to leave this on my desk too, to remind me to go on the Catrice site and purchase this one when I use up some of my other ones that I'm working on. Okay. We have a Kapari, this was just a sample, and it is the Kapari Coconut Detox Max Purify Pores and Calm. I only used, I got one use out of this, of course it was a sample, but I actually really liked it. I did notice uh, the next, I used this before bed, and I did notice that some of the white little bumps that I'm getting on my cheeks looked pretty good after I used this. So I would definitely purchase this in a full size and use it more to, just to see if it worked as well as I think that it did. So this sample is going here too. <laughs> I have trash and declutter and then I end up saving some of the trash to remind me to buy something. It's crazy. Um, okay, we're almost done guys, I promise. So this is just the oil-free acne wash. This is comparable, to, this is the Publix brand, which is a local uh, grocery train here in the South. But um, this is comparable to the uh, Neut uh, Neutrogena one. Um, and I have, I have used this for, I'm sorry, there is dust or something in this bag and it has gotten on my nose and it's driving me crazy. Um, I have used this before. Yeah, it even says compared to the Neutrogena oil-free acne wash. I've used this for years. I have had, I have had multiple bottles of this. 
I kind of go back and forth with the salicylic acid and the benzoyl peroxide that's, you know, tends to be in your acne fighting products. Um, right now I don't have this in my bathroom, anything like this. I will probably repurchase it again, maybe. Um, right now I'm using the, um, Soap and Glory Vitamin C Face Wash. I'm actually using that in the morning and at night, and that really seems to be helping my skin. My skin looks the best right now that it has in months, so, and I don't think it has either one of those products in it, so I don't know. Maybe as I get older, I need less of that. I'm, like I said, I'm all on this journey of figuring that out, but I like this. Um, you know, like I said, I've used it for years. Okay, next we have the Physicians Formula Skin Booster Vitamin Shot Time Restoring Rejuvenist. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This still has product in it. I didn't love this. I tried to use it up because I don't like being wasteful. I think I let it sit in my collection too long. Um, it doesn't really have much of a scent. It, it was okay. It didn't. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It just was like, meh. So, um, I just decided to declutter it. Okay. We have a deodorant. So, about deodorants. I tried to go aluminum free. I know that's a big thing right now too is they're saying, you know, the aluminum is bad for you and I tend to get very clogged pores underneath my arms too. So I was trying to use something that um, was maybe a little bit better for me. I, I can't do it, y'all. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it because I smelled. I don't typically, I can use nothing and go longer without having body odor than using a aluminum free deodorant and aluminum free deodorant. So if you have found one, I don't remember the brand. I actually think it's still in my bathroom. Oh, that was the other thing. My coworker told me to that you kind of have to get used to it. Your body has to get used to it. And then the smell will go away. And it did, but I got rashes. I got rashes underneath my arm, like painful, like burny, itchy rashes. So um, I was like, I can't do this anymore. So the smell did go away. Now that I'm remembering correctly, this was closer to the beginning of the year. Um, yeah, but I broke out with these itchy pain it was itchy and painful at the same time rashes so I went back to this again it's another subscribe and save my husband and I actually use the same deodorant he prefers women's deodorant so um this is just what we get we get it I think there's six we get it every other month or so the girls use it so yeah it's just what we're using right now all right this is a mask I think that there's more in here but as you can see it's really, really thick. Oh. Maybe there is another use in here. Oh. I liked this. It's a, it's by the brand Bio Race. I, I'm sure I got this in a subscription box because I had never seen this brand anywhere before. But it's a pure, it is a pore purifying tea tree clay mask. And I liked this. Um, I would definitely, definitely purchase this again, or I didn't purchase it, but I would go find where to get it because I really did like this mask. All right, here we have another ColourPop. Oh, this was in the shade Champagne Blonde. Uh, so that's the shade right there. Um, I'm curious now. I'm not getting, I'm not going to, I've been putting these products in a trash bag next to me as I've kind of been going through because I'll save this bag to keep more empties and I'm not digging through that bag to find that. But this one looks more ashy than the one um, that I'm currently using. So um, that's interesting. I didn't realize that I had had another shade in this, but again, it's a good pencil. I'll have to go back on their website and look at swatches because I did not know that I had ever had that in another color. So learn something new every day. All right, here we have a NYX micro brow pencil in the shade Auburn. This was actually too red for me. I didn't like, I didn't like the way that this looked in my brows at all. It's too red, I think, believe it or not. And 
it's not near as creamy as the ColourPop one. So of the two, I would always just go back to the ColourPop one over the NYX brow pencil. Okay, we are, we are getting there, guys, we are getting there. Okay. All right, next, you guys already know that I love this foundation. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I have the shade F1. Um, I already have this in my collection. I actually have it unopened because like I said, I'm trying to kind of go through things that I buy to try and then I'm like, mm, I wouldn't buy it again, but I have it and I don't want to be wasteful. So I use them up. So before I open that and go back to that, but anyway, all that to say, this is a good foundation. All right, we have two more of these makeup wipes. And then here we have, this actually has product, oh, well, gosh, it hardly has anything in there. This is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Uh, this was good. I got it in a subscription box. Uh, to be honest with you, I have found that I don't like translucent powder. I like my powder to have color to it. Uh, when I use white translucent powders, I just feel like it makes me look older. I don't. It's like it's more drying or something. I don't like it. So I wouldn't repurchase this just because I have found that I don't like translucent powders at all. Okay, next we have a Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. I liked this. Um, I got a couple of uses out of it. I would purchase this. Uh, I got the Soap and Glory, the one that I'm using now. They were buy one, get one 40% off. So I got two and I just keep one in my shower and one at my sink. But I would purchase this in a full size. I did like this facial soap. Another facial soap that I have in here is the Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. This does have one and a half percent salicylic acid. I really liked this. I know Murad is on the pricier side. Um, so if I, I actually would have purchased this at a full size if my skin didn't start to clear up on its own. Of the two, I, you can't compare them because this is not does not claim to be acne treating this does and I do think it helps with acne so um this is dry combination I don't really see I have oily skin and I didn't find myself not liking it because of my oily skin so um I would purchase both of these um I think Clinique is probably a little bit cheaper than this one okay guys I promise we are almost there we have like six more products just six so I'm actually going to pull these out and put them on my desk and put my bag over here. It's a little bit easier to go through that way. All right, so next we have the Bosha Indigo Eye Cream. It is a, it was a purple eye cream and I liked this. Again, I have yet to find an eye cream that completely blows me away that I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to repurchase that. It was good. It does what any other eye cream does for me. So. Um, would I repurchase it? I think, um, I think I probably got this on an Ulta, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Um, I'm not sure that the, per, I'm not sure that the indigo, the purple, if it was supposed to do something. It says this, One Step Wonder Eye Cream crafted with wild indigo works to hydrate, brighten, and color correct the delicate under eye area. I didn't notice that. All eye creams have been the same to me. So there you have it. Okay, this is the, I'm gross. I have like um, facial mask on me. Uh, this is the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, clinically proven to retain moisture for up to 26 hours. I did like this. I did like this moisturizer a lot. It was just a little bit it was just a little bitty sample, but I would buy the full one. Um, I, I have found that the thicker moisturizers that are geared for dry skin work better on my oily skin than the ones that are geared for oily skin. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with that, you know, when you're oily, I think it's because your body needs the moisture. Um, and the thicker ones just kind of give you more of that. So I would purchase this because that is just what I noticed with that. Okay, we have four more products. We are almost there. So this is the NYX Fill in Fluff Blonde Eye Pencil. This is the one that has the paddle on this end and it is like a thick pomade type 
um, formula in here. I liked this. Um, this is probably my second one. I would repurchase it. Um, I don't think this did as well as they were hoping to because I want to think the last time I was in Ulta I couldn't find it. But um, if it is still available, I would definitely repurchase this. I can do my brows very quickly with this product. Okay, another brow product is the Total Temptation Brow, Def brow Definer by Maybelline in the shade Blonde. And that's what it looks like right there. And I would repurchase this. This is my second or third one of these. Um, again, these kind of applicators that aren't like the micro ones, the ones that are more like the definer, I can do my brows quicker with these. Um, and just kind of depending on how my, how crazy my brows are at the time kind of depends on which one I prefer. But I did like this, I would repurchase it. Okay, this is a product I hated. Hated, hated. I did not use it up because I hated it so much. This is the e.l.f. mascara. It is the volumizing and defining mascara. I hated this product. Th that's the wand, you know, and these are the kind of wands that I tend to like because I do feel like they are volumizing. This is junk. It made my eyelashes very, very sticky. And when I would blink, they would stick together. Hated it. I didn't use it up. I used it a couple of times and I'm like, I can't, I can't use this. I hate it so much. I can't use it. And then the last and final product, we are almost done, is the e.l.f. This is an e.l.f. clear brow setter thing. I hate the wand on this. What, what is that? Who, who uses anything like that? It is like tiny, thin. It's thin. It's this was dumb. I, I didn't like it at all. I didn't understand. It didn't do anything. It didn't help keep my brows set. It was just dumb. I didn't like it. So that is it for this video, guys. We are through all my trash that I have accumulated over the past couple of months. Thank you so much for stopping by. I apologize that it has been so long since my last video, and I'm hoping to get um, more on more of a routine in the next coming weeks who knows with all this crazy coronavirus stuff that maybe we will find that I can post more because I will be home more so thank you so much for stopping by if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video bye